What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So not to be outdone by Apple releasing their latest iOS update in the form of 17.2, Google actually just released Android 14 QPR 2 Beta 2. This is a substantial jump from 1.1 that we were on prior from a couple weeks ago. Since it is a solid full numerical release, there probably are some new features and bug fixes obviously in this build. We're gonna go ahead and do a dive into it, check out the build number and do our traditional song and dance for this. But if you are registered in the developer program with one of your pixels that are eligible to get this update, it should be OTA right now for you guys to get. There are a couple of bug fix fixes mentioned in the release notes as well. We'll start with that. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Okay, Android 14 QPR 2 Beta 2 just finished installing. So before we jump into it and do our deep dive, let's do our traditional temperature check. And what's really awesome on days like today where Apple has a new iOS update and Google drops a new Android update is truly just to see how much better these Pixel phones actually stay when they're updated. They are just so much better heat managed than an iPhone. And I've been saying this for a long time on videos, it's nothing new. Apple just does not know how to regulate heat on iPhones. They need to rethink their thermals because it has been a never-ending vicious cycle, unfortunately, with iOS updates. So starting off with the bug fixes, as you can see here, there's only a few bullet points, and the first being that they fixed an issue where battery usage information that was reported in system settings was sometimes incorrect. They fixed an issue where fingerprint icon on the lock screen would sometimes display before other information had loaded on the always-on display. They fixed an issue that sometimes caused the biometric prompt to crash, causing it to be dis dismissed before a user could interact with it. And lastly, fixed an issue that sometimes caused the internet quick settings tile to indicate there was no Wi-Fi connection even when the device was connected to a Wi-Fi network. Out of those four bullet points from beta 1.1, the only one we experienced was that last one that said there was no Wi-Fi network, even though there definitely was one present. Now, having said that, this beta did drop in the form of about a 536 megabyte file, and it started around 310, and it finished downloading 12 minutes later at 322, and it actually finished installing at 335. I bring up these specific times because recently there was a lot of commotion about how much more improved these updates were being. These used to take 30, 45 to an hour long to update. This is a great improvement from start to finish for only 25 minutes. I will definitely take that. I'm not sure if Google truly changed anything on the back end, but that is nice to see. Jumping into settings, system, and actually, oops, excuse me, about phone and bottom, you could see this new beta has a build number of AP11.23111.7. So, like we said at the beginning too, since this is a solid full number update, there should be some new features. And one of the first ones that we saw were actually when you go into your internet panel here, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean to long press that, we now have an option to share Wi-Fi. There's a button on the bottom left here, as you can see, if you're connected to a Wi-Fi network, that if you click it and you verify it's you, you will get that QR code to share with somebody. Very, very cool. If you're doing this to another Android phone, you actually have nearby share as an option as well. Thought that was really, really neat. It gives you your password to share if you want um, right there also. So very, very cool to have. I think that is a great addition, and I think that a lot of people are going to find that as a very useful feature. Also, this moves pixels finally to the December branch. So going back into settings, uh, system, and then a system update, you can see here we are now on the December 5th patch. We were only on November prior, and thankfully now, since this is updated, users on the beta program should be able to use those new features that were dropped in the pixel drop from earlier this month. Strangely enough, some of the new features were not present, specifically in relation to the camera. This should help improve that. The next change also shows in a settings for an app, specifically 
how the background usage is taken care of. So let's just use YouTube for instance. If you long press and go to your information and then go to app battery usage, this has kind of changed to now allow background usage instead of where we used to have the restricted option that is kind of gone. And now we have a toggle under the sub menu for optimize or unrestricted. Prior to this, you would have the regular options all listed out, including that restricted option. This has since been replaced. Next up is another change or an added setting, I should say, in the developer option. So let's just go ahead and get to the developer menu and near the bottle, bottom, I should say, if we scroll all the way down, you will see a new option for wide vine settings. So currently there is only a single option toggle that you can't actually mess with. It's meant for developers to force this to work. But as you can see, the new toggle here does read force L3 fallback. And if it's selected, that will force obviously the L3 fallback feature. Aside from this, just jumping around everything very minimally, you can see just how nice everything is actually scrolling. Apps are loading very quickly. And you can see we got notified that an update is available for the camera. And this should give us some of those other pixel features that we were missing. So we'll go ahead and get that all updated, but that's not relevant for this video. Again, go jump on it if you have that developer option enabled, or I should say, if you have your pixel in the developer program and the beta program, you will be able to get this update right now, OTA. Let us know what else you find in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, guys. We will catch you in the next one. Peace.